Hey there, it's Tam, your homeschool bestie, back with another flip through video. This one is going to be featuring the high school edition of the everything you need to ace the subject in one big fat notebook series. Um, these books are published by Workman Publishing, which is the same company that puts out the Brain Quest workbooks and the Brain Quest decks that you've seen in some of my other videos that uh, where I'm showing you our homeschool curriculum. But these are not just a homeschool resource. These are great for any student in high school. And you'll see why in just a moment. Um, if you like videos like this, go ahead and leave me a like to just let me know that you like videos like this. And also, if you want to see more, go ahead and hit that follow button. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to move these out of the way and we'll flip through each one. I'll try to leave timestamps for when each one gets started. So getting started with the pre-algebra and algebra one edition of this book, it has a similar format to the middle school edition. So if you haven't seen my flip through of those, you can definitely check that out as well. So you're getting your kind of intro page, just lets you know how to use this book and what you can expect. Then it gets into the contents where it's broken down by units. And if you are a homeschooling family like us, you can definitely use these units to help pinpoint the um, requirements that you're needing to meet for your state, just to make sure that each of these units will meet um, what is required for high school math for your state. If I were only going to get one or two of these books, most definitely this pre-algebra and algebra one book would be one of them. And so what I'm going to do is just briefly flip through so that you can get an idea of what to expect in the chapters. Lots of colorful images. The keywords are always, and your key terms are always highlighted. So that's very, very, very helpful. And then you get a knowledge check after each chapter, which you can use as, you know, just your own type of quiz just to t test your knowledge of that chapter, just to make sure that um, your student is actually understanding what's going on. I have recommended these highly. I have gifted these. I really cannot say enough uh, good things about this series. And <laughs> I, I am so looking forward to keeping these as part of our resources going forward. So I'm just going to flip ahead a little bit more so that you can just get a, you know, a bit more, oops, a bit more of a inside view than you might see um, if you are getting these from Amazon, which I do have linked in the description. Um, if you want to go ahead and order these and just have them as part of your, your resources. So flipping through a bit more, just to give you the idea again, it's broken down by chapters. You can, you know, bit of fun in the notes just so that it's not so dry and boring as you know flipping through a traditional textbook and then these are great to just continue to reference back when you need that help and then always at the end let's get there because these are brand new so it's a little bit stiff to open uh, when you first get them you have the index where you can look up the math help that you need by the concept, which is extremely helpful when, you know, if you're teaching uh, math and you're not quite sure, you know, where to find um, an explanation, but you know, you know, generally the subject that you're looking up, the index is where you can have your student look for the information, gives them a chance to have that practice because, you know, everything we can just shout at Alexa now or, you know, some other resource. Um, so that's the pre-algebra and algebra one. This is the geometry book. So you're going to see the very similar format throughout. Again, with the introductory pages here. Go ahead and give you a quick view of the content so that you know what's in here. I was very happy to see that trigonometry was also included just for the, because uh, I've been looking up some high school curriculum for my seventh grader 
and just, you know, in order to get prepared. So it was good to see that trigonometry was also included in this geometry book. But, you know, if you're not wanting to buy the whole set all at once, you can definitely, you know, buy one at a time or one, one per month until the set is complete. From what I can tell so far, they have 10 total. That, that is, is including the middle school series, but I did also see that they have added an additional math workbook. I do not have that book, and I don't really have any plans to buy that book at this point, but, you know, of course, if I do, I'll do a flip through so you can see. <laughs> And so, yeah, another, you know, check your knowledge is still part of this as well, which is probably also, you know, why I'm not really in a rush to get the math workbook because these check your knowledge sections are, are very helpful. All right, so I'll go ahead and flip through a little bit more here. Getting a little bit further ahead, this is a chapter on, you know, how to use the compass to construct perpendicular lines, parallel lines, angles. All right, flip further. These resources, I, I really, again, can't speak highly enough of. My oldest has gravitated towards all of them. I've seen her just, even on the weekends when we're not even doing school or during our break, she'll just come in and pick one, read through a subject, test her knowledge, and then move on. So if I were only recommending one series of books, it was definitely this one. And then again, at the end, you have your index for all of your terms for geometry. All right, so that was geometry. For biology, this one, I was actually surprised at how much was in here because I kind of thought it was just going to be, you know, a little bit of life science in terms of, you know, basics of cells, but uh, it actually also includes a little bit of chemistry. They definitely also include plants. So if you have um, plant biology, that's in here as well animals, human, uh, the human body, as well as genetics are also included and a bit on ecosystems. So this is, this is packed with a lot of good stuff. And what I, I think I most appreciate about this is the language is not too heavy. You know, this isn't going to really go over the head of your average high school student or even middle school student. Cause like I said, we're not quite at the high school level. I'm buying this ahead of time to introduce the concept so that it's, it's very casual. Um, I put these things out and I just let their natural curiosity take over with a lot of the things, especially for science, you know, they'll hear something on TV or in a show or, just in a documentary and they'll want to know or ask questions about it. And I just try to make sure that we have books and resources here that aren't necessarily tied to the internet that they can look through and find the answers that they're seeking. And so right now, again, just giving you that overview of the chapter. And of course it also, for these books as well, includes the check your knowledge that they can utilize or you can utilize in the form of a quiz. If you wanted to include quizzes in your homeschooling, you can definitely do that if you choose to. Here we have the periodic table. So that's again, alluding to a bit of chemistry here in this book. It doesn't go too in depth because um, they have created a book entirely dedicated to chemistry, which we'll get to in just a moment. But you know, you see a bit of it here. All right, so let's flip ahead a little bit more this so you can get more of a view of what's in here and the level of detail that they go into. Because I'll be honest, I do not remember all of this from school <laughs> and it's impossible to remember everything. But again, being able to have these resources on the shelf 
that my kids can reach for whenever they need to. That's that's what's helpful for me. <laughs> oh my goodness, because I'm looking at some of these terms. I'm like, I don't even know how to say that, but that's okay. We have the book here <laughs> that will help us. All right, and then finally, same as the math book, we have the index in the back to help out with those terms. And it is a good size index. You know, it's got some a lot of detail in terms of, you know, the, the words that you can look up. So that was the biology book. And finally, the chemistry book. So I mentioned that the biology book had a little bit of chemistry in there. There was a unit on chemistry, but obviously this one goes into a lot more detail than the biology book. And so of course I recommend having all of them, <laughs> but you don't have to, or you can just go for the, uh, buying the book for the subject that your student might need the most help with. It's completely up to you. Um, but I've definitely gifted the math book more than once, the middle school math book more than once to students. And I've heard from those parents, you know, the student is doing so much better. This was so helpful. Of course, my oldest is doing fantastic with just picking these books up randomly whenever she's in the mood and reading through a chapter. Because as you can see, the chapters are not very, very long, but they are long enough to make sure that all the information that you need to know is in there and it's memorable. And then, like I said, at the end of each one, you get to do a knowledge check that helps to reinforce what you just read in the previous chapter, because these knowledge checks are at the end of each chapter, not the end of each unit. Because each unit includes multiple chapters. So the, the, uh, the knowledge checks are at the end of every chapter. So very, very helpful. I'm gonna flip a little bit further to get more of a view of what else you can expect. Here's a periodic table again. Uh, we saw it in the biology book, but there's another one here. And I think actually there's multiple periodic tables throughout this book, but we're flipping ahead. And then, you know, very, very simple, but detailed. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip through a bit more so you get the idea here. And as always, the index in the back covers quite a bit to make it easier to search those terms to go right to what it is that you're looking for. So that was the chemistry book. And again, if you like videos like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up to let me know and follow this page if you would like to see more homeschool flip throughs or more just helpful resources for homeschoolers. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.